Now, the spy thriller series Slow Horses is a cracker and it's back for a second series today. Well, I caught up with the show's stars Gary Oldman and Kirsten Scott Thomas. So lovely to see you both. How would you sum up Slow Horses? Spy? Yeah. Genre? But it's what I love about it is it's not, it's, to me, Slow Horses is how it will be in real life. You know, it's not glamorous. No, it's certainly in not. Any way. It's not. It's very. It, it's it's very not, real. It's not Jason Bourne. No, James it's not Bond. James Bourne, does it? <laughs> um, I think that's why the books are so successful, mm. because you don't see Money Penny go into the laundrette. This is true, or or James Bond doing a pee. No, or you don't. like your character farting, drinking. Yeah. You know, generally being a slob. Yeah. So that's <laughs> that. We really do follow these. We really follow these mm. these characters. I was going to say unpleasant people. There's well, a lot no, of very I unpleasant with people. You, that, that, I disagree. That, I mean, what, watching it, I think there are some. Um, there is a lot of unpleasantness. Of course, mm. there is. But the characters are actually in the in the slow horses. I'm not a slow horse, so I'm a different thing. Horse, but yeah. when you're watching you're a these race people, horse. I'm a racehorse. <laughs> <laughs> so, but anyway, when you're watching these slow horses, yeah. you do get really attached to them, and even when you, when you see them, um, you know, making mistakes, um, behaving badly, um, being awful. Yes. No one in particular. <laughs> what I love about your character is that he. I mean, he's. Awful. He's just in a way. Yes, but but I really like him. The thing is, he's so irascible and sarcastic. He just publicly sort of humiliates them. It's it's so awful that it's watchable. Definitely, you wonder how he gets away with it in a way. But but also, what I think's lovely is he he does have this side where he's very loyal. You know, and he's almost protective. like a very yeah. harsh father to all of these misfits. Yeah, I think he has a very sort of strong moral compass. He has their back. Yeah, yeah. Very especially in, ex in our exchanges. See, I think these two characters are fascinating because obviously there's so much history mm. between both of them, and I guess you know we're we're just about to enjoy season two. But I know it's been recommissioned, so we'll see more of them and more of that background because things have happened. But she is, oh gosh, she's Antarctica sometimes, isn't she? <laughs> <laughs> but you must, I mean, it must be fantastic playing someone like that. Well, it's great fun um, to be able to explore that sort of aspect. It's also quite taxing playing somebody who is as tough as Diana because you sort of feel kind of like exhausted at the end of the day of being so... So, so sort mean of... to everybody, and you kind of, you. I guess you can't wait for the next book because you you fall in love with the people, oh, and even if they're uh, Arctic, uh, <laughs> you, you know I what see. I mean. Because you go, oh, she's such. Somebody's a... got to get her. <laughs> exactly. You want to know where she's going to get her comeuppance. You know, That's and you enjoy, and, but you enjoy yeah. the sparring mm. and the yeah. So. Well, I'm so glad that you're making more. It's 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 a brilliant series. It's it's lovely to get a drama like that. Where, like I say, you just you have to focus on it totally, and the stories are just brilliant. Thank you. Thank you. So so much. Lovely to see you. Thank you. It's such a good drama. You have to be totally engrossed in it, though. You can't be sitting there looking at your phone when you're watching Slow Horses. And you can watch the new series on Apple TV Plus right now.